Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com as always and today we're going to take a look at how to manage your Windows Defender threats that are found. So we're going to start by downloading a false positive that we know will flag as a virus and we'll show you how to manage it from there and how to just go into control panel and look at everything. So we'll wait a second for this file, we'll say keep and it's scanning it right now as you can see by how long it's taking and there is your virus and threat protection. You can click this and get right in there or you can come over here which is actually your notifications kind of a roundabout way to get there but once again you're pretty much clicking the same thing and when you do that as you can see check your date and time there you can see today so you have a couple options down here for example actions remove quarantine remove is usually your best bet or allow on device so if I know it's a false positive and I do I will click allow on device we get quite a few of these because a lot of this stuff that is on major geeks that is in the covert ops stuff like that is considered a virus by many antivirus programs hence the false positive thing so there you go now you can see I downloaded it as you see it was a virus and now I've allowed it so let's figure out how we can manage them now so let's go to right over here your Windows security go ahead and click on that and when you do you want to go right here to virus and threat protection and essentially we're going right back to where we just were only we're doing it if you weren't downloading something so you have allowed threats and you have your protection history allowed threats is going to be the stuff that I allowed for example what you just saw me allow and you can see details and you can change your mind go back and you could just take a look quickly at your protection history, which is another way to do it. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of them here from today because I was doing some tests before I created the video. Once again, you can click here and find out all the details you want. What was affected, there's your Rock XP4, so we know what the file was, what it claims to be doing. Now understand that Rock XP is a tool that can retrieve passwords, typically product keys, anything that does that is going to be flagged as a virus. So once again, now I can just come in here and filter stuff out. You can clear your filters, go by recommendations, cleaned item, blocked, severity, and that'll allow you to find anything that you want to do. So we could take a look at severe, and now we list by what's the worst, as you can see. Another false positive. Oh, no, that was a, that was a real one. You might have saw that one on uh, social media or something where the guy tried to send this to me to post on major geeks and I ran it through virus total didn't get past there I've never seen anything flag so high nice try buddy if you happen to be watching and here you go so you just kind of see where you're at same program so it's probably me playing around with that program and verifying that it was a malware program that we did not want on major geeks so it's pretty easy to do and there's a few other settings in here but really the way Windows is set up right now I wouldn't change anything there's a lot of different settings you can do. This is another one of my favorites. Let's say I'm about to download Rock XP and it's a virus. You could actually just, I think you can right click here maybe. No, you can't. So you come into here where we were at the virus and threat protection. Scroll on down till you see manage settings. Just shut off real time protection. Go ahead and download the file you want. You'll be notified virus and threat protection is off. All you gotta do is wait a minute. You see we're getting the file here. Go ahead and save it and then click here it jumps you right back to here and automatically turns it back on for you so that's another way to get around any false positives either or it's a lot faster if you know it's coming by just shutting it down so whatever works for you there you go as always you know what to do little logo down here with the major geeks icon click that and you can subscribe to our channel we'd appreciate that and we thank you for watching as always and then we hope to see you again